guys, welcome back. I think this is gonna be number four for videos. And you have never seen this room before. <laughs> uh, this is our guest room slash my plant room. <laughs> and as you can see, we have it very filled. We have plants that we started, I think, I think they started, I think I started these like the first week of January. Just two, two or three tomato plants that I thought it would be nice to have and to be able to smell. They smell amazing. Those guys are getting really big. And then, I don't know if you can see over here, we have a bunch more seedlings and then we have a cat growing down on that shelf as well. She's gotten pretty big so far, I would say. In all reality, they really love to lay under that light because I have the heating pad on to germinate the seeds in the little baggies. Um, for my experiment and basically the cats just lay on it all day and they love it. Today is pepper day. We're starting hot peppers and sweet peppers and I'm very excited because this is like the first like real thing I'm starting. I started artichokes and celery. The artichokes have popped up but the celery has not yet and I just did those a few days ago so Hopefully they'll pop up soon. Our chives and our catnip are bunching onions. The red beard and the regular ones are doing great. And we have a lot of basil that I need to pot up, which I'll probably end up doing today as well. So before I start my pepper seeds, I need to make soil blocks. This is a soil blocker. I need to clean it. But to do that, we need to make a sort of slurry out of some seed starting mix. So I'm gonna pour a bunch of it in here. And then I have water. This is not, this is a messy process. So if you don't like getting your hands dirty, probably wear gloves, but also why are you gardening if you don't like getting your hands dirty? <laughs> it's my favorite part. And this is gonna take a lot of water. So you just pour it in and kind of let it soak up all of this water and you want it to be pretty wet. <coughs> I'm inhaling it. <coughs> Woo. At some point, I'd really like to get a potting table, but right now we're going to use this little shelf because our fold-up table is in the kitchen as our island still. Because islands are expensive. I'm inhaling so much dust from this soil. It was really dry. But can you hear it? I might have put a little too much water in here, but we'll see. I also don't really know how many peppers to start. I know I'm starting some for a couple friends and I don't know. I haven't finished my garden layout yet, so I'm not quite sure how many I need. So I'm gonna probably plant a little extra. I'm gonna do three or four of each kind of pepper, I think. And then jalapenos, we want to use a lot of those. We want to grow a lot of those this year. This soil blocker was like 20 or $30 and it's saving me from having to buy like the little peat, peat moss cup things. I don't know what they're called. They're like peat pellets, I think. Okay, so this is all wet. <clears throat> when you pick it up, you wanna be able to like squeeze water out of it, but it needs to be like not too slushy. So it needs to hold together well. See how this, so then, I don't know. You can do this a bunch of different ways, but I kind of just squish this down in there until it looks full. And if it's not going in, then I just pack it in here. Um, the good thing about soil blocks is that it doesn't have a bottom to it. So it's just open. And that doesn't, that means that your roots don't get root bound in their little pots. They don't get restricted and they can kind of be free. And that actually helps them a lot. Okay, so once you have it all packed in here, you just go like this. And squeeze it out. And then you have four perfectly little square cubes of soil. I know they also make different sizes of these that might come in handy if you have like flowers that you want to do or something that don't need as big of blocks 
Um, I will have to pot these up before I get to plant them out because it's only mid-February right now and they're not getting potted up until like mid-May. So I guarantee you that I will have to pot these up at least once. But I am prepared. I have, I think, three inch pots for them already. Oh, spilling it all over the ground. But I might have to get bigger ones for them to go in, which is fine because I will just be able to reuse those next year. I'll need to buy them eventually anyway. If you have any suggestions for like sturdy, uh, like four inch pots probably, I would very much appreciate that. I know there's an easier way to do this, but I like them to be very compacted. So I'm really squeezing it in there. Okay, I'm gonna make the rest of these and then I will get back with you when I'm done so we can actually start our seeds. these guys I probably made a little bit too many but well that's okay we have 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 46 so I think that's probably more than I need but I'll just start a few extra of them and I'll just sell them or give them away to neighbors and friends and stuff because I have plenty of seeds. We went over this in the last video, but since it's only eight different kinds, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm doing. First off, we have bell peppers, which are keystone resistant giant pepper. We have coral bell pepper. And then we have habanada, which is supposed to be like a sweet version of a habanero hopefully, because I do not like spicy stuff. For spicy peppers, hot peppers, we're going to grow, we're gonna try and grow these old Chili Willy Peter peppers. Then we're growing another old package of pepper Thai red chili. We're growing Buena Mulata purple peppers. We're growing jalapenos. We're probably gonna grow a lot of jalapenos. And then we're gonna go grow Cayenne Long Slim. Now for most of these hot peppers, I have no clue what I'm going to do with them. The chilies we like to dry and turn into chili flakes or just put them in like our actual chili. We'll like split one open and put them in like taco soups and stuff like that. The other ones I need to figure out what I'm going to do with them. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. I think I want to try doing like a spicy like hot red chili oil for my friends and Taylor because they like spicy things. I don't, <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't really know what to do with the rest of them. So if you have suggestions, please, please tell me. I would gladly accept them. I have popsicle sticks. You can get special pens for this, but I don't have one of those. So we're not doing that. I'm gonna write them all out before I actually start doing them. So we have Keystone. Okay, Marta just left. She kind of stopped by with only a little bit of warning, but that's fine. She had some packages to bring to me and she brought me summer rolls. So we had a little summer roll intermission from my seed starting. And now I am making some tea and we're gonna continue our seed starting. As soon as I pour this for myself. I've just been really like, craving hot plain black tea lately and I don't know why but it might just be because it's 
winter and it's been super duper cold outside, but I've been having it a lot more often. I kind of go through phases with it. It's so hot. Okay, let's go finish our seeds. We gotta get them on their heat mat and they should be good to go. I have to keep you guys updated on them. I need to move this heating pad that I have on the bottom up to this shelf because if I don't, the cats are gonna keep laying on it and I need it for the peppers. Okay, so it's all on the shelf now and I just slid the other tray over so that the cats aren't laying all over the tray because the heat mat's under it. I do have another heat mat, so I'll probably get that out for them, but we'll see. <laughs> They've been on it constantly. So I'm going to flip this around and show you. Okay, so the reason that I laid these popsicle sticks down for now is because if I have them standing up with the lid on, they just like tip over and get lost in this little ridge along the side. So once the peppers actually start popping up and I don't need to have the lid on anymore, I will stand those up at the edges. But for now, this works the best. Let's check our artichokes. Ah, I can take him off. Oh my goodness. Oh, knocking everything over. We have three artichokes. Not quite four. I think that he's in there somewhere. Does anybody else like dig into their little seedling spots and check if their seedlings are popping through? Because I do that constantly. That's probably not a good thing. These are all celery. They haven't popped up yet. So hopefully they do. Fingers crossed. Dirty fingers. All of our basil. I need to pot this up. I'll probably do that tonight. Then we have catnip, which the cats have been munching on. They love this stuff. And... These were old onion seeds, which you can see onion seeds go bad really quickly. Those ones didn't germinate. All these guys were new. I've been trimming them a lot, mowing my onion grass. This is a baby tomato. I have my lavender experiment. And then these are our big tomatoes. And then lime. Look at the little baby lime flowers. So cute. Starting to lose my light. <laughs> But I am now going to pot up, what am I going to pot up? Oh, I'm going to pot up the lime. <laughs> oh my goodness, I, <laughs> my brain's not here today. I'm going to pot up the lime and then I also will show you something else that I have that has just started growing leaves and roots and I'm really excited about it. Let's go to the kitchen. Okay, so a few months ago, probably in December... I got these like, Concord grape vine cuttings and they have been in this uh, glass vase carafe thing since then. And we are finally getting some roots and they're actually just started popping out leaves. So I think it's time to put them in actual pots now, but that's the plan. Take these guys into our seed starting room and see what pots I've got for them. All right, so I got these little guys and then this bigger one for the lime tree because it came broken in half and I'm not quite sure it's going to survive, but I figured the pot that it's in is kind of small right now. So if I pot it up, it might actually do better but I'll show you, it's kind of like tied together. By kind of tied together, I mean it's like actually tied together. This whole branch is like broken off when I got it, but it's still doing well. Thank you for tagging along on this pepper day. Um, it's really fun to actually kick off the full season of starting 
my seeds, the first full tray of one type of seed, all the peppers. So happy to have that done. It feels really good. And now I just can't wait to put them outside. That's not gonna happen anytime soon though. I just got six inches of snow yesterday. As always, I appreciate you watching my videos. And if you want to see more, I would appreciate if you would subscribe and follow me on Instagram. If you're also a smaller YouTuber and you do gardening things, please let me know. I'm always looking for more videos to watch and channels to subscribe to for garden, homestead, vegan, plant-based living, all that kind of stuff I love. So I would be happy to check your channel out. Cheers.